Aquarius, welcome to your work and finance reading for mid-month March. This is my first time doing work and finance readings. Usually I do love or generals, but starting April I'll be doing monthly work readings. So because we only have two weeks left, we just I just decided we'd do a short little reading for the balance of March. And let's see what's going on. I mean, it's quite interesting with all this lockdown going on, so... Let's see what's going on for you guys. Two more cards, dear Universe Angel Spirit Guides, for my Aquarius. Two more cards for Aquarius. Okay. Sorry. Just give me a second. Aquarius. Thank you. Something's not going well at home. Where you must be either you have the burden of the finances at home, Aquarius, or something about the finances at home being sucked out. Whether it's you who lost a job and so somebody else is in in the family covering the losses, or it's vice versa, you covering the losses of somebody else within the family. All right. Let's go ahead and begin. Knight of Wands in reverse. These are um, messages not coming in. Th um, even if you're looking for work right now, and I don't feel like I'm reading for that Aquarius. I think that you guys are either employed and they're somebody you live with was recently unemployed and now you have to, you're responsible for those financial burdens or you recently might have changed your jobs or lost your job and now your finances at home are being stressed. Um, the Knight of Wands in reverse. This talks about not getting an offer, not having that job come in. Um, but I think I'm feeling overall for you, Aquarius, that's a good thing because this was something that was a flash in the pan for you anyway. It would have been temporary. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I'm feeling like this is what we were saying before, that the finances in the house are being strained and that th more money is leaving the house as opposed to coming in. So there's a lack of resources there. This is you looking for a new job, looking for something, a, a better offer, starting a new journey. The sun. This talks about you needing a break, a time out from your job because you need to find your happiness and happiness you will find. Queen of Swords of Reverse. That's more or less you guys. This is an Aquarius, unless you're dealing with a Libra or a Gemini. Female boss, and she's a total bitch, and she, like, cut your job out, or she cut you out, or she cut you out of, out of the family finances in the home, because this very well could be the case, or this is your energy, you cutting someone else out of the family finances. Vice versa, energy. This is uh, messages going back and forth between you and an employer or a boss or getting a new job or communicating with somebody. Now let's go ahead and clarify these guys. Why is the Knight of Wands here in reverse from my Aquarius? Yeah, the, it kind of was upside down, but for me it's the same. The, the, there was a lack of healing regarding this uh, this lack of an invitation or a job or something that didn't go well. It just didn't go right. And it was, it was mentally straining you or draining you. And it was something that had to go away. It just had to. So maybe this was a job you quit because you just couldn't take it anymore. And now you have this lack of finances in the family. But let's see. Why is the Ten of uh, uh, Pentacles in reverse? Please clarify Ten of Pentacles in reverse for my Aquarius. There's somebody in the family. It could be a parent. It could be... Anyway, she's a, she's also the card of the mother for me in the, in the tarot. But she's also a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. She's financially grounded. And it looks like she... I, and I heard this. I literally saw a wallet and clothes. Like, she has the purse strings on lockdown. So maybe it is your mother that you're dealing with with the finances at the home. And she's got the finances on lockdown where you are responsible for your mother's finances. And now it's becoming a burden and or issue because you have to take care of a parent financially. The fool. Why is the fool here? Why is the fool here? 
you're going on a new trip, a new journey, and I don't know if you're deciding on moving like across the, the country to get a new job or whatever or find a new job, but this is also the card of a Pisces, but it's also saying that you're using your intuition. You're going with your gut. Your gut is telling you start something brand new, move away, do something new, all together, new job, all of it new, and your gut and your intuition is driving you into that direction. Why is the sun here? Please clarify the sun. One more. Shuffle or take the top card. Why is the sun here for my dear Aquarius? Clarify the sun for the Aquarius for mid-March. Thank you. Oh, love is driving you, isn't it? Now, it could be that you're getting into a partnership or you are boyfriend or girlfriend who might be your fiance, whatever. You're thinking about starting a business with them or a company with them. And literally, you're thinking about your happiness, what's going to make you happy. So you starting this new thing over here, you could be starting a new business with somebody that you're in love with or that's your soulmate. Or you're just starting a new partnership with somebody else that's going to make you happy. They could be a Leo also. Yeah, Leo. Lover, Leo. Soulmate. Partnership. In work. So... Very interesting. Queen of Swords in reverse. Why is the sun? Uh, why is the Queen of Swords in reverse, please? Yeah, whoever this Queen of, if this is you, because this is the, uh, an Aquarius, this is a very cerebral female. She's very discerning and very decisive. She cuts with the sword. She cuts the bullshit out. She says yes, no, and she moves forward. But when it's in reverse, she does it in a nasty kind of way, like real bitchy. Like, what are you talking about? Almost like a bully. That's her. I'm not saying that's you. That could be somebody you're also dealing with because they could also be a Gemini or a Libra. Now, if this is you, it is because you are holding back emotionally and financially. You are the one locking down the wallet. So when I saw this above, this is you locking down the family finances because maybe now you've got to take care of mom or somebody else and this this four of pentacles tells me you're locking it down you're not you're holding on to your money like this with a tight grip so you're a little bit worried about finances so you're not you're not sharing or spending that much right now you're kind of saving actually why is the uh eight of wands here please clarify the eight of wands huh. queen of cups and the king of wands so here is a water sign female, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Now, I don't know if this is people you work with and you're communicating with them and you're getting messages from, from them, or this could be the partnership that you're dealing with or the partnership that wants to be made with you. You are going to start communicating regarding this job, this position, work, finances, whatever it is you will be working with these two individuals. Now, these are the energies at the end of March leading into April. So I don't know if this is a team dynamic and they want to partner up with you and start something new. It's very interesting. Or this is you, you know, being like loving who your partner is because we do have the two of cups here. Somebody that you love, that you work with. And we already said that this Leo over here, Leo... And this could be you, the nurturing, loving other half of this dynamic group, or you're just dealing with another couple. Um, we will see what happens in April as these energies change. So until then, any other messages, Universe Angel Spirit Guides, for my dear Aquarius from Angels of Abundance. These are advisory cards, let's say. Aquarius, Aquarius, Angels of Abundance. Anything else for my Aquarius? Thank you. Positivity, faith, and optimism. And here's what's crazy to me. You open the doorway to positive experiences, opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks interfere with the path that you are on. Keep the faith and keep going. You are. Say optimistic. Say positive. And it's interesting because before I said, you know, you are dealing with a Leo. And this very much is the card of a Leo. You see the lion right there? Also the Leo in the tarot 
represents strength. So you need to find the strength and or positivity. Where Leo does that, it represents strength, patience, to go forward and just to get through with what you need to get through with. And maybe this, you, you've been waiting for this and it hasn't happened. And now maybe at the end of March, things start culminating and coming towards you in a very positive way. But do remain positive as you are going through this obstacle right now in your life. Okay, Aquarius, I'll see you back in April. Until then, bye.